In this lesson, we will explore the world of WordPress multi-site, a powerful feature that allows you to manage multiple WordPress sites from a single installation. If you've ever wanted to run several sites without juggling multiple logins, this is the solution for you. The lesson outcomes are understand what multi-site is and why you might want to use it. And secondly, we will also highlight the benefits and use cases. But what is WordPress multi-site? A WordPress multi-site network is essentially a collection of WordPress sites that all run on the same WordPress installation. This means that the network admin can manage multiple sites with one login. While each site, known as a subsite, can have its own look, feel, and content, they all share the same themes and plugins. Each subsite has separate media directory and database tables, making them independent of each other, even though they use the same core files. Please take note, multi-site might not be the best choice if you need your websites to be closely connected and share a lot of information. Each site in multi-site operates separately. A multi-site network is ideal when you have multiple related websites that must remain distinct. For example, if you run a franchise with many locations, each location might need its own website to represent its specific information. However, all these websites share similar features such as the same design or functionality. With multi-site, you can manage all these websites from one central dashboard, making it easier to update themes, plugins, and core files for all sites at once. Multi-site also provides robust user management, allowing you to assign different roles and permissions across the network. In this example, I've selected one of my sub-sites, and as you will notice, I've already added a user named John, and below that, I can add an existing user or a new user to this subsite. Other examples of when a multi-site network is useful include running the same site in multiple languages, a media company managing regional news sites under one network, or a university providing each department with its own website. WordPress multi-site can be set up in two ways, subdirectories and subdomains. Subdirectories appear as part of the primary domain and, for example, follow the format yourdomain.com forward slash support. The URL will end in the name of the subdirectory. Subdomains are separate domains or sites that are part of the main domain. They appear as a prefix to the main domain and will be structured as the example below, support.yourdomain.com. Subdirectories are ideal for maintaining a unified domain and a consistent user experience across different sections of a site. Subdomains, on the other hand, are suitable for creating distinct, separate sections or entirely different websites under one primary domain. Next, it is also essential to differentiate between the super admin and the site admin. The super admin or network admin manages the entire network of sites. They can activate multi-site, update network settings, and install themes and plugins. They can also grant permission to create new sites and user accounts. A site admin manages individual sites within the network. They can add users to their assigned sites, but cannot install or manage themes and plugins. However, they can activate or deactivate existing themes and plugins, depending on the permissions granted by the super admin. In the next lesson, we will discover how to manage a multi-site network. But if you want to learn how to create or set up a multi-site network, check out the lesson Setting up a WordPress multi-site network, which forms part of the beginner developer learning pathway.